afternoon friends and uh, team jury. Probably I'm only the one of the finalists for the contenders from the state tourism boards. So this is all about my website, gujaratourism.com. Uh, before I start off the presentation, since all of you are from the travel and tourism field, I would wish to flag up two or three points. Essentially, see tourism is all about experience. So First point I would like to mention is that I consider the website as a marketing tool or a marketing enabler for us. It's an extension of my marketing wing. So if you see, we have branded Gujarat as a family destination. So due to the diversity of the products it has. So the challenge was to how to, how to put all these things, diversity of the products into a one website, running into 500 pages or whatever. But we have been able to do it, and probably these are some of the, you know, accolades and uh, rewards we have won over the years. We just won the Best Tourism Board Award by the CNB Travel Awards just a week back. Two days back, we won the Best Emerging Tourism Destination Award by Continental Traveler India. So the actually the ICT challenge was how to market such a variety in the cyberspace. Uh, probably the website is, I cannot explain the website in five minutes to all of you, but I can tell you the story of the, how it evolved. When we started the website initially, about 10, 15 years back, we depended on our normal brochures, uh, you know, market data to get hold of the information. But then we soon realized that that information is not up to date. So what we did, we revamped the entire website, and we put a very interesting condition in our then the document. We made it very clear, okay, the vendor could be an ID person, that's fine. But it, it, there should be a, a travel tourism professional with him throughout the process and throughout the entire uh, area period of the agreement. So whenever there's an updation or any kind of, you know, uh, features to be added, the travel person or the travel community or the expert, he's the one who can pitch it. Because the ID person would more be technically qualified. You won't be a tourism professional per se. One of the examples I can give you, we have uh, shaking minarets in Ahmedabad. Now, if you do a search of shaking minarets today in, on the Google, many places will tell that you can go and climb up the shaking minarets. The factual position is that after the earthquake in Ahmedabad, you are not in a position to go, up, uh, go inside or you know, climb up. You can only see it from outside. These kind of challenges, so authenticity is one another factor. I want to very clearly mention for state tourism boards. If you are not giving authentic information to the travelers, how do you market your website? Rest is uh, most of the issues are related to. And, uh, and our experimentation with online booking. Now online booking is something which is a decade old and nothing new, I don't have to mention anything new about it. But our experience with online booking, we found something very interesting. We, we have an event called Run Utsav, which starts on December 15th. It's, it's in the right on the, probably if you have seen the ads currently, bunch of ads, the TV and the radio. It talks about online booking. One of the interesting things that we learned about online booking is that, uh, you know, people who are accustomed to net banking or let's say credit card, they could easily book on the net. But what about those people who did not have either access to the net banking or they were frightened by the technology of the web. So they wanted to make payment through cash or check, whichever is feasible to them. So what we decided that we enabled our tourism offices. We have tourism offices across India. So a person, a tourist can go to the web, to our office and our tourist office can enable it to book online. So it is not necessary just by having online booking your you know, removing the rest of the segment who are not able to pay online booking. Uh, we have divided the website since I said it's, uh, it's a diverse uh, state with a lot of products. We have divided it to eight tourism hubs and all. But these are all the things you can obviously see in the website. What I secondly wanted to mention is that when we talk about website, I want to also include that it should, uh, ICT has a lot of, you know, uh, opportunities
is as far as tourism is concerned. We have started the online uh, 24 by 7, uh, what you call toll free number. We are soon going to start with geographical information uh, systems on the website. And I was talking about, as I mentioned in the earlier thing, that tourism is all about experience. What we have done recently, though right now you won't be able to find it on the website, we have we had put up the, one of the noted photographers uh, from Gujarat. He had covered all and each every destination from Gujarat. So now we are going to put it up in the Facebook and uh, on our website. So, so you know, it's all about text. It is all about content. It is all about visual delight. And if you see our Facebook, it's quite popular. We are not doing any ads, but every day we have a lot of things, uh, you know, updates every day on a regular basis. I had one one question. Um, see, even while we were discussing uh, in the jury, uh, one of the things which uh, was uh, uh, to be noticed from your website, you know, good thing is there. You, you mentioned that. This is just a recent edition. Yeah, and so at the time of when I put in the thing, that was not there. Yeah, that was not there. Yeah. So you said right now. Yeah. It's more uh, information. Right. So yeah. like, as I mentioned, it's more of a marketing tool. I consider it as more of a marketing tool for me. Yeah. Because tourism is all about yeah. experience. But from the from the context of this forum, right? How much it is really contributing from the uh, uh, development of the society also? See, travel and tourism is uh, is one of the verticals in the in the selection panels uh, as far as right. as far as death is concerned. However, the uh, the broad idea of death or chart of the death is it should benefit the uh, local public uh, at large. Um, so, how much the Gujarat tourism web signed or the digital portion of the Gujarat? Um, tourism is contributing to the social development. Social development, I would say that it has taken into consideration the uh, what you call the stakeholders. I would say, you know, the hoteliers, the tour operators are part of the uh, of the we have a committee on the website committee. So uh, people, uh, the tour operators of Gujarat or let's say the hoteliers, they can register for, for free. So it is more you know more helpful to the stakeholders. So in that way, and stakeholders actually the stakeholders are the ones who are actually running the show. The government role is just a catalyst. I am, I don't operate. I, am, I do operate tools, but then the tour operators are actually the backbone of the industry. They are the ones who actually are running the show. So what we are helping is we are helping them to, you know, give them the platform. For example, this online booking. A lot of tour operators are now in a position to do online booking. My online booking system has a uh, system for tour operators to. Correct. That's free of charge. <coughs> so they have to just register, give certain documents, and they can book online.
we have tied up with uh, all the you know management or uh, the training schools across Gujarat. So we give them funds on a regular basis to train the local guides. We have a local guides training. We have a six months course. We have a one one year course. So a variety of courses are there. Yeah, more focused on. Uh, As a branding, as a branding thing, no. See, see, that's why I'm saying. Uh, when I mentioned that my first slide says it's about family destination. <coughs> see, Gujarat has everything. So, what we are saying that why why it's called a family destination? Let's say the elderly person is there, so he can visit temples. Let's say some there's the the husband is there, he can go to great wildlife, or the children also along with him. So, for the woman of the family, she can do handicrafts. So this is has to be award. That's why I think there's everything in the family, every for every member of the family. That's why I've branded it as a family destination. Why mentioned as unsung, unsung destination? Well, that's that is uh, that has been given by the lonely planet had, uh, you know, mentioned it because probably the reason it has been mentioned is because you have been in the you know limelight just a few years, so Gujarat still is an unexplored <laughs> destination. Right now we are right in the right limelight. Let's say five years, ten years back, nobody would have thought about Gujarat as a vacation. So now people are thinking. See if you see that award of you know best emerging destination. So people are thinking now Gujarat as a something to go during the summer vacation when the children are having holidays. So that's the reason. Do you call it a family destination because it's a dry state? No, no, it's nothing to do with that. We call it a family destination because it's diversity of products. There's everything for someone, so for each member of the family. <laughs> Um, and again, since this award is directly linked to yeah. uh, the development aspect, uh, how do you see the, I mean, I've been looking at your website, and there's really, you know, uh, I mean, promoting a few things like the Ran of Kaji and others, but the concept of uh, responsible tourism, the fact that uh, Gujarat has a very ethnically diverse yeah, population, it is and so on and so forth, I mean, I don't see any mention not, not of that at all. I agree. Is that, that a policy uh, reason for that? No, no policy reason. reason. We recently, last October, we had a conference on just this subject, responsible and uh, tourism. So to understand, you know, we hope this is a new area for us. See, as I told, tourism is a new area for the state of Gujarat. So we have been experimenting last year, last October, we had a big conference in Ahmedabad on the, the subject, on responsible tourism. We have called an expert from all abroad and others to understand how best we can go ahead with it. Uh, the other question I want to ask you is from the reverse side. Uh, yeah. I think in domestically, Gujarati is Tarn make up the largest yeah, uh, yeah. traveling community yeah. in India. Yeah. I mean, what is the problem? Right, right. Uh, I mean, how do you guys work with that? I mean, is that something that you're involved in at all? Or is it because no. I'm sure there's a huge outflow of tourist population yeah, yeah, see, from Gujarat? That, that's the reason. Yeah. Before tourism was developed, Earlier, from ancient times, Gujarat has been traveling. Even before a tourism board was formed in Gujarat, as you rightly said, they have been always in traveling. So, what we are now trying to offer to the local uh, to tourists is that okay, there is also something within the state to see. So that is now the you know try to hold them back and see the, your own state has something not to offer rather than going abroad. <laughs> a lot of ethnic diversity in Gujarat. Fifteen percent of the We have a lot of, I mean, say, health and behavior wise, we have a lot of diversity. We have a variety of tools. If you go through my website, where, you know, we have a Gandhi circuit, we have a handicraft tool. I mean, so you name it, we have it. Okay. Uh, and, um, because of short of yeah, sure. time, we'll move forward. Thank you very much. Uh, the next one is. Uh,